Take a look at this comparison. Truly mirror images of each other over the last four years. Exact same overall and conference record for Bama and Clemson. Points per game nearly identical. And they've dominated in the college football playoff over that stretch. Guys, I don't know if college football is any different this year than it has been in years past. It just feels fairly top-heavy with, with Clemson and Alabama. Andre, we'll start with you. Give me a team or two or how many teams do you have that are not named Clemson <laughs> Alabama that can – compete for the national championship and win it. Yeah, man, I've got three and a maybe, a possibility. Okay. Ohio State, I feel <laughs> like they actually return enough uh, on both sides of the ball. And Justin Fields taking over at quarterback, kind of going back to some things that they used to do offensively with an athletic quarterback. They have a chance, that, uh, an outside chance. Georgia, certainly, if they're able to get out of the East and, and win the East – I think Kirby Smart has done an outstanding job in recruiting. They're as deep as anybody. It seems if there's a time for them to come alive, this would be the season. And then I would say Florida, the winner of the Georgia-Florida game, in my eyes, if they're able to run the table going into that game, will have a shot as well. And then the dark horse in this race, LSU. Joe Barrow's back at LSU. There's a lot of re lots of reasons for optimism there in that program with finally, finally, Greg, having a quarterback that's back that they can hang their hat on. Now, I actually would extend that list to three plus three and change. I'd actually take it to ten because I look at Alabama oh. and Clemson and both actually come back with a few questions, few concerns. Now, don't get me wrong. If I'm starting a national championship contender list, it's those two, then a big gap, and then a nice <laughs> lump of teams. I'd say about 10 teams, though, could get in. I think Michigan and Ohio State have to say. And there's a bunch of teams in the SEC that have question marks but also have a remarkable amount of talent. Obviously, you mentioned LSU. I think Auburn's one of those teams that's sneaky good, especially on the defensive line. Florida's another team to consider. But how are we not going to start and end this conversation with the Georgia Bulldogs? If you look, they have an experienced mm -hmm. quarterback back in Jake Fromm, who is excellent. Excellent. They have the best offensive line in all of college football. You have a receiver core that is very inexperienced. Big question mark on offense, but with that inexperience comes a remarkable amount of talent. And on the defensive side, you know the back seven is going to be solid. If they can just find a couple playmakers in the front, a pass rusher that can change the game, they have everything you could possibly want and they have a mental edge as well. They know they can do it. They let Alabama off the hook in each of the last two years, and they feel as though in having done more this offseason, they think they can get over that final hurdle. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.